Hi makeup friends, I hope you all are doing well. I know you guys have probably seen me in this outfit for a few videos but I have time to film right now so I'm filming a few videos for you guys. So this video is a fantastic haul. I feel as though every one of my hauls that I do are fantastic because the products are just so amazing and I just wanted them all so that's why all of my hauls are so great and special to me. And I know you guys love to see when I haul, so I'm just helping you guys out. So, I went to a few places. I purchased from Starlight Pharmacy, from Wonderful World, from Sasha, and from um, Sherry Derry on Facebook. So, I am just going to show you guys what I purchased, because I'm helping you out. So, let's get started. The first place I went to was Sasha. I went to a Sasha Image Center and I purchased these. Now, I have wanted this um, lippy to add to my Sasha collection ever, so, ever since I saw Kiki Diamond's video. And she swatched this and I really, really like it. So, this one is the Sasha Intense Matte Lip Velvet. Also, the although these aren't really the matte lip velvets, I believe they didn't change the packaging. This one is the Metallic Lip. This one is in lip service. So I saw her swatch this one and I really, really liked it. So this is a metallic lip. They don't really have a scent. And this is just a beautiful nude. But it's a metallic lippy. I love it. Love it. So in the Sasha Image Center, I believe these are $55. Um... Correct me if I'm wrong, but are they $50 in Pennywise? Tell me yes or no. But most of my Sasha lippies I buy from an image center. Because I find when you go to Pennywise to purchase them, they are very picked over and you don't always get the shades that you want. But I know if I go to the image center, they will more or less have the shade that I want. And then another thing that I really, really wanted to try from Sasha since they debuted it is the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder but the one in Buttercup Light. So they brought out a lighter version to the Sasha Buttercup Powder for women with lighter skin tones because the yellow powder is very, very bright yellow. So they did bring out a lighter shade of Buttercup Powder and I'm so excited to have this one. Now, when I last, I am still on my first jar of Buttercup Powder and I use that all the time, eh? So it lasts a very long time. It's so old that the cover was a shiny cover. That's how long I have that one. But it's lasting me a very long time and it works fantastic. But I paid $50 for that one. It's not that long ago, like forever ago. But when the buttercup powder came out, it was $50. Now the buttercup powders are $75. I'm quoting in TT dollars. I mean, it's not that much money for the amount of product that you get, but... Bear that in mind that it has raised from $50 to $75. But I'm so, so excited to try this one because it is a lighter buttercup powder. I cannot wait to try it and bake with it and see um, if it makes a difference under my makeup. Good. Then next I went to Starlight Pharmacy. And I just purchased three skincare items from them. So the first one that I found is a Freeman Feeling Beautiful Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask. So I am just adding this one to my Freeman collection because I do have maybe five or six of those masks. And you guys all know from the beauty pages and stuff how people rave about these masks. And I must say that they are very wonderful and they are worth being raved about i am going to do a video with all of my freeman masks and give you a little bit my take on a little bit of each of them to maybe share with you and for maybe you can pick pick and choose which one you want to try because in my opinion you really don't need to own all of them you just need specific ones for your specific face type skin etc so this one says it deep cleans and purifies pores and 
clay masks are very very good for your skin so especially and it has avocado and oatmeal so i'm so excited to try this one you can get these in starlight and super farm as well as you can get these in pennywise but in my opinion pennywise is always picked over and it's hard to find um the specific ones that you're looking for so i picked this one up in starlight pharmacy i believe i paid 33 dollars then also i wanted to make it to pennywise but i just didn't and i was in the drugstore already and i really wanted to try these from pennywise when i saw them and i picked them up there it's probably five dollars each more if you will so these are the l'oreal skin expert um clay masks so these are uh, have been recently launched from l'oreal i believe and these are what the masks looks like. They come in three types. There's one that I did not pick up. I paid 115 TT dollars, 115 TT dollars in Starlight Pharmacy. For those of you who have purchased it in Pennywise, tell me how much you paid for them. I would really like to know, but I paid 115 for them. So the first one that I picked up, this one says um, Pure Clay Mask, Purify and Mattify. So there are three of them and they're all targeted towards different things for your skin. And this one says Three Pure Clays and Eucalyptus. So this mask has eucalyptus in it and all of them do dif different things that they say. This one is supposed to draw out uh, the buildup of impurities, dirt and oil, absorb impurities and unclog pores, reduce excess shine and refresh and allow skin to breathe. So this one sounds fantastic for people with oily skin so I had to pick up this one. And then the other one that I picked up is the one three pure clays and charcoal. So we all know people are always making charcoal masks. They say charcoal is good to pull out toxins from your body, etc, etc. So, whoops. So when they put charcoal in a mask, it's supposed to be fantastic for your skin. So this one says draw, draw out buildup of impurities, dirt and pollution, reduce dull skin and increase luminosity, even out your skin tone and refresh and allow the skin to breathe. So I cannot wait to try these and these are in glass packaging and they just feel like, you know, really high-end masks. I priced some of the Glam Glow Mask in Senses and they are quite expensive for a very small jar. It's like $450 for a Glam Glow Mask. I do have one small one, but these I feel as though they're trying to kind of make it like that. So I can't wait to try these. Maybe I can do a review just on the L'Oreal ones for you guys and do a review with all of the Freeman ones that I own so you can make that determination and see which one will be better for you. So that's all that I picked up in Starlight, those three things. Then I went to Wonderful Worlds and I just has, hadn't been there for a while and I went looking for the clean color clean color metallic um lippies those are just like 15 dollars but when i went they only had like blue and green and i'm not going to wear those shades so i just picked up a few things while i was there so one of the things that i picked up is this paper craft hardback notebook and i know these are from like the dollar store in the u.s but these books i love collecting these books you guys i have quite a few of these and i really love to keep notes and write down things i always have these in my handbag or like if i'm making my pennywise list for the month i love it or my wish list or if i want to stick to a budget or something i just really really love these so they had this one and they had another one and i think i will go back for the other one because it's so adorable and you can keep track of stuff you know so these cost 15 dollars i picked up one of these then as i said i did not make it excuse me for the bag usually i don't keep things in a bag but it was a, a good bit so um i said i wanted to make it to pennywise but i didn't make it there so as i was in wonderful will i just picked up two packs of my favorite makeup remover wipes and these are from color now these do cost more in wonderful world and i find my experience is that they are a little drier from wonderful world than they are from pennywise but sometimes when you go to pennywise you can't find them at all 
or it's just whenever I could make it to Pennywise and that's once in a while. So I just picked up some of these from Wonderful Wool to hold me over. These cost $23 in Wonderful Wool. So I got an aloe vera one and I got a green tea one. And these color wipes are my absolute favorite makeup remover wipes. I love them. So as I said, I was looking for um, the clean color metallic lippies they only had blue and green and i wasn't gonna buy it so i saw this clean color madly matte lip gloss and i picked it up and i was like how is it lip gloss when it's matte so i said oh well, let me try it so this one is in the number 1631 these don't have names so the girl told me she said it's matte but it's a gloss so it's like that's so strange anyway let me try it so i picked up this shade because i found this shade to be just gorgeous so I swatched it and I walked around with it once I purchased it for a little while. My only problem with these cheaper lippies is that they have a strong, plasticky, chemically kind of gross smell. But I will try my best to get over it for the beautifulness that is that shade. It's the most gorgeous, rosy, pink beautifulness anyway my point is when i walked around with this shade is that it dries down but it still looks quite shiny but it was very sticky on my hand so i'm going to try this on its own and then i'll try it with a little translucent powder tapped onto it and see how it stays but you guys i am in love with this color so this is only 15 dollars then I picked up a backup of my concealer because I finished one and then I only have one more that I'm going to open. And I don't like to not have a backup of this concealer because it's my fave. This is the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal and I got medium beige. That's my shade. These have gone up to $30 in Wonderful Wool. But it's because they see it selling a lot and also I think they said maybe the supplier has raised the price or whatever. But... That one has gone up to $30, but I love it, so I'll pay the increase. Then I picked up a lip liner. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for lips, and I picked up this one in Pink Love because I thought it would look nice with this, but you know. When you swatch it, they're kind of closer in color. So that's it there. really like these, and these are retractable. So, thank God for not having to sharpen lip liners. This was $22, I want to say. Then, the last thing that I picked up from Wonderful Wool is a backup of my LA Girl pencil. This is a Glide Gel Liner, and this is in the color Champagne. I This is probably my fifth pencil like this, and I use this pencil to highlight my inner corners. I love, love, love this pencil. I don't like shadows on the inner corner because they kind of look dull. I mean, it's not showing up that much because I've had on this makeup, I want to say, for 10 plus hours since this morning, and it's late at night that I'm filming. I just kind of touched up my face, but this pencil is amazing for highlighting your inner corner. I love it. And then last but not least, as I said, I purchased from Sherry Derry on Facebook and I saw her post some items that I had my eye on because they just came out and they're from Wet n Wild. They are the liquid, Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipsticks. So these are liquid lipsticks that just launched from Wet n Wild. And I was planning on picking these up sometime and I saw her bring them in. So I said, you know what, I'm going to purchase them one time. So these do cost five US dollars and she sold them for 50 TT dollars, which I found was to be a fair price. So I have heard nothing but rave reviews about this liquid lipstick. So, and I watched a swatch video and I picked out the shades that I wanted and that's what i purchased so this packaging is very very nice i find though for wet and while it's quite large it's kind of chubby and when you pull the applicator out the it's clear and then you get a very very plush applicator now when you put this on your lips i have on one today this one is in give me mocha 
When you put these on, you can feel just how soft the applicator is. You can feel the sponginess on your lip is very plush. I really like it. This one here is the lightest one I got and this one is in Rebel Rose. Now, I wore this all day today. It lasts all day. This one, this is Rebel Rose. I wore this all day today. It is very comfortable. You can layer this two, three times and it does not get crusty and cakey so I love that right away from this and also the only time I needed to reapply is when I ate because I had something a little greasy and it just came off a little bit in the center of my lips it did break down a tiny bit but you can go ahead and reapply this on top of that and it does not get balls it doesn't get crusty it just I love it already so um, if you guys want a swatch video with these lippies let me know this is the one that I have on and give me mocha love this shade see what I told you about the applicator it's clear it just looks expensive I really like it so that's the one that I am wearing and give me mocha then I got this one and I think this one is my other favorite and this one is in very recognized This one just, oh, I went like, oh, when I swatched it, I couldn't believe. Look at that one there. That's very recognized. Love this one. Then I got this one in Nice to Fuchsia. You guys know I loved my pinks. Nice to Fuchsia. And then last but not least, I got this one in Missy and Fierce, which is a beautiful, beautiful red. And I know I love these already, Missy and Fierce. Because they are not cakey, crusty, they are not overly drying. You can What I really like about it is that you can layer it and it doesn't get crusty. And I, the first time, I, the first day I got these, I left these on my hand and I had to use some oil to remove it. So they're very long lasting and they are not crusty. Worth it right away. Love those. So I just picked up those five and then last but not least, I really wanted, this was on a wish list of mine and she had it so I bought it one time. And this is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I paid, um... 230 230 TT dollars from her for this palette and I just love it already now this palette the pans are refillable I don't know if you can probably purchase probably get these from the next website or I don't know if Ulta or something will sell the pans but it opens all the way and these little parts is that you can take out the pan and refill the uh, shades etc so those are the shades you get there, you get like a highlighter and then you get lighter powders. So this is like yellow, you can set under your eyes with it. This one is a more glowy one here and then you get these shades. So I have been liking this so far. I've used it maybe once or twice before, but I really like this. I wanted this for a long time. So that is my haul guys i hope you enjoyed um if there's anything that you want a review on i'm thinking to do a review on these as well as all of my freeman masks as well as the new l'oreal masks and then i want to know how this works and then i have a lot of the metallic ones so let me know if you would like a swatch video with the sasha metallic lippies as well so guys thank you as always for taking time out of your day to watch me i'm very tired i have been filming quite a number of videos so yeah when i get time to film i just have to film so <sighs> thanks again guys i appreciate you please leave me a like please leave me a comment please hit the bell that's next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified when i upload a video so guys, thanks again for watching. Bye.